In the last video, we showed how we can build a solution to our partial differential equation that satisfies all of the boundary conditions, in particular, this last one that uh, our previous solution wasn't able to satisfy. And to do that, we superimposed all of our solutions to get an expression that looked like this. And what this should remind you of is this is very similar to a Fourier series representation of this function f of y. However, we never said that f of y was a periodic function. So a question you should be asking yourself is how can we take the Fourier series of a non-periodic function? How, how did we do this? And what we implicitly did essentially is Suppose that our function f of y in general looked something like, like this. If this is a function of y, this is zero, and this is up until h. Okay, h being the dimensions of our plate. So if in general a function is non-periodic, we're always allowed to restrict ourselves only to the domain of interest, in this case, the dimensions of the plate, and essentially only take this portion of the function and make that into a periodic function. So you have something that looks like this. Okay, these should all be, they should all be the same thing. So what we did was just take the portion of the function we're interested in and create a periodic function out of that. And then only focus on the part that we're interested in and essentially just discard away all of the other stuff that's outside of the dimensions of our problem. Okay, so To just to write it out. So just take the part of f of y that we want, again, within the dimensions of the plate. We can throw out the rest of it. So anything outside over here and over here. And we built the periodic function out of the part that we are interested in. So the Fourier series that we built up here represents this entire periodic function. Uh, but again, we're only interested in this. So we essentially ignore anything that happens outside of this domain. And that's how we're able to implicitly take the Fourier series of a non-periodic function. We're actually, in fact, creating one uh, sort of in the in the background. So this is the general idea of solving partial differential equations by separation of variables. In the next couple of videos, we'll go through some examples where we consider the heat equation with time dependence. Uh, and we'll consider both a Dirichlet problem and a Neumann problem and look at how we can solve those using separation of variables.